You been on my mind, you been on my mind Try not to think about you like all the time I'm asking myself where did all the memories go It's hard to be myself ever since you've been gone As I'm chilling at this party, I realize I don't even wanna be here I'd rather be alone with you in this liquor Make it hard to see it clear Always wondering if I'm good enough But you make me feel like I am I've been stressed a lot, but I make it out And that's just the person I am Yeah. It's me, it's me, Simba TV Bang! What is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy SimbaCon back here again with another reaction video for guys today. For today's reaction video, we got some up church talking about his situation with Nicole, his ex girlfriend. Now, man, up church went on to Instagram and said, Look, she is trying to dismiss the case now, okay? She is trying to get out of paying for her lawyer fees because she's broke. She's broke. Now, man, church is like, I get to say finally what I need to say. He's been sitting on this for a while now, man, so I can't wait to see what he's, what, what he's going to do, man. Let's, let's jump up in it. <laughs> that evil laugh, dog. Troll level got to be one thousand. <laughs> I dumped Nicole Arbor one time. And she took me to court for it. It was awesome. <laughs> this is the favoriteest part of my job. You don't know if this is hairspray or semen. I went down south and chilled with the mouse in a house at the roundabout on his couch. <laughs> You're ugly as fuck, you know that? Uh-oh, I think I'll make a shit in my pants. Just the way you hold your lips just makes me think you don't wipe your ass that good. Oh, wow. So there's wow. just like a has-been ass fucking YouTuber who thinks she's a comedian. Actually, honestly, I used to be a cheerleader for the Toronto Raptors. Like, actually, for real, I was a cheerleader for the Toronto Raptors. And it was us. Freaking sucked. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. That is actually... Nah, that can be her. That can be actual. That can't be. That that was that was that was very sad. That uh, can't be. Uh oh, I think I'll make a shit in my pants. Just the way you hold your lips just makes me think you don't wipe your ass that good. So there's this like has been ass fucking YouTuber who thinks she's a comedian. Actually, honestly, I used to be a cheerleader for the Toronto Raptors. Like, actually, for real, I was a cheerleader for the Toronto Raptors, and it was us. Freaking sucked. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, just because you're a walking joke doesn't mean you can just walk onto a stage and be like, look, I'm a comedian. Oh! That one hurt me! God damn! Well, she said say it with your chest! <laughs> I mean, some of you might know who she is, I doubt it. She kind of has, like, the body shape and the uh. head shape of Kermit, but with, like, skin and some dried-ass hair. Everything that comes out of her mouth sounds fucking retarded. And, and it was us! <laughs> What are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna chase me? Really? You're gonna chase me? It's gonna be like fucking Frankenstein. Look, I'm acting like Frankenstein. Oh, <laughs> because That's Frankenstein is slow. Oh my god. You fucking suck. Look, I'm still acting like Frankenstein. Ugh. The fuck's up with your elbows? They look like dirty, cold nut sacks. <sighs> oh, oh shit. shit. So yeah, I dated this fucking thing. Oh, I know, right? What the fuck was I thinking? But then I dumped her. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. And it was us. This 40-year-old woman got so mad that I dumped her. She took me to court, bruh. Talk about making my street cred go up. The fuck? I didn't even do nothing with her. The fuck, the all I did was breathe around her. Like that. <laughs> Just a mouthful of dip. So acting like a bloodhound. <laughs> Yo, relax. Okay, relax. We're just chilling one day. She's looking. She's like staring at me. She's like, ribbit about ribbit. You know, just like trying to make it a point. She's staring at me like the fucking alien on Mars attacks. <laughs> I look over and she's like, you know what? I was like, what's up? She's like, if you don't do anything with me, I can get someone else to do it. I was like, whoa, she said that? 
Whoa, look, man. There's always two sides to every story. We heard her side, okay? But we didn't hear churches. And if someone says some shit like that, bro, you're fucking crazy. Like, go ahead, get them. I'm here chilling. Like, that's wild, bro. See, that's that, sh that's that shit I was talking about on the, on the video that I did when all of this happened, man. Gaslighting. Like, it it's literally doing something to someone to make them have a reaction. And then when they have a reaction, you, you're you like, oh, why are you mad? Why are you mad? Like, it's, that's bullshit, bro. Okay, do you know who the fuck you're talking to? I don't give a fuck. Bye. I mean, look, man, I'm a picky ass guy. If you kind of smell like Dr. Gloves and look like Kermit the Frog, I'm probably <laughs> going to debate it for a second. You know what I mean? Netflix and chill is fine and everything. But when you got like this, this, thing going on and a big ass fucking forehead you're like yelling at me like ah, ah, to like do stuff with you i'm gonna be like no ah, no <laughs> no <laughs> no <laughs> she is cringe like everywhere she goes though it's gross dude uh wait sorry i mean grass <laughs> we went downtown one night to kid rocks i'm walking down the street it's nashville tennessee what the fuck do you expect if I'm walking down the street in Nashville, Tennessee, I'm taking a picture with people. Oh, yeah. So uh, everybody starts swarming me. And I'm like, yeah, what's up, Scan? Da, 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 da. Taking pictures with everybody. Dude, I'm sitting there, like, talking to my people and taking pictures with them, right? The whole time. She's, like, peeking her head over here, like, this, this happens to me in Canada. More people come through. <laughs> Bitch! Come <laughs> No, she did not. No. Come on, man. You're going to be jealous over people taking some photos, bro, because no one taking a photo of you. I mean, look at you. You look like a jar of mayonnaise, man. Stop playing, bro. I'm sitting there, like, talking to my people and taking pictures with them, right? The whole time. She's, like, peeking her head over here, like, this, this happens to me in Canada. More people That's crazy. Through, taking pictures with them. Peeks in again. You know, this happened to me once. I mean, a lot in Canada. <laughs> ah, Kajara Mayonnaise wants a picture. <laughs> she wants <won> fans. <laughs> That's funny as fuck to me, bro. That's funny as fuck to me, man. That's really funny because that shows you all you need to know about that particular person. You know, if if someone cares about that, and, and feels like they need to be at a certain level because you're at a s certain level, those are people you don't need to be around. Be yourself. Love yourself. Stop trying to think everything's a competition. My man is just trying to have a good time with you in downtown Nashville. That's all he's trying to do. Yeah, he's going to take some pictures. It's cool. It's solid. Like, let him take his pictures. No one cares about you, stanky. Like, just relax. Like, everybody be fucking calm. Like, relax, lady. All the time in Canada, actually. I'm like, okay, hang on a minute. Taking pictures, taking pictures. You know, it's just like this for me in Canada. All, the, all day, every day in Canada. And it was us. So I'm sitting over here like, why does she keep telling me this? Why right. Do I care? Like, so we get upstairs. It doesn't matter. Like, I would tell you, like, me and my friends here. My friends are going to be here. My friends, they're meeting us here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. There's other humans here. Where? What was that meme? Can we can we go back on that? Who the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. There's other humans here. Where? <laughs> she gets up there, she gets one drink. <clears throat> and I don't think you guys understand. I am too slick, ain't nothing happening to me. I drink water the whole time, player. And I watch everything that happens. If somebody in a group orders like a drink or something, I watch it go from the bartender's hands to the bar top, to the person carrying it, to where they carry it, all the way over to where they give it to us. Okay? That's Came what I straight do. from the bar. The whole time That's we're up exactly there talking what to I her do. friends. <laughs> yeah, friends. Uh, the whole time we're talking to these random ass people that you met on Facebook. People are coming up, taking pictures, talking to me. I mean, hey, I love it. It's Nashville, baby. I'm from here, you know what I mean? 
she starts getting irritated because nobody knows who she is. And she's, it's pissing her off. She's fucking like pacing back and forth <laughs> and like still drinking this one little drink with a bunch of fucking ice in it. Now she's kind of in her own world looking about, about. With my chin up. About, song, about. Bro. So I'm sitting here talking to this cool ass dude with an Indian jacket on because he's fucking grooving and dancing real hard. And I wanted to talk to him because he looked like a really cool uncle. And then she taps me on the shoulder. She's like, like, I'm going to go to like the bathroom. Like the thing where you poop in the fucking hall. I'm like, okay, bye. It's over there. Well, when she went to the bathroom, I always make sure if, I, if there's females in our group and they go to the bathroom, I watch them go to the bathroom. And I watch and watch to see if anyone else goes in the door. Yep. It's yep. not supposed to until they come out. So that's what I did. Nobody went in behind her, bro. <laughs> You'll see why I'm laughing in a minute. Nobody went in behind her. She came out. After she came out, I continued to watch the door based off what she just told me when she came out the bathroom. So I see her come out of the bathroom, so I like look another way to start scanning the room, see who's in the room. And <laughs> she comes up to me, she goes, oh my God, totally crazy. I was like, what is? She's like, I just totally met a fan in the bathroom. Knowing she didn't. <laughs> At all whatsoever. Like relax. What the fuck am I supposed to think? You know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking, damn, bro, this bitch just went in there and like clicked the fan button to dry her hands off. I was like, I know, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell him that I met a fan. And it was us. So then, <laughs> so then she's like, I don't think that's gonna save. I'm like, okay. I'm walking down the street. Get back. Get in my Mustang. We get in my Mustang. She goes, oh, oh no. I totally don't like, feel good right now. Oh no, something's happening. I was like, uh, no, not today, Junior. I picked my phone up. I said, uh, yes, I have a Nicole Arbor in my 2020 GT Shelby Cobra Mustang, and she is telling me right now that she doesn't feel good. She thinks she's been roofied. Fuck that. I drove her ass all the way to the ER, bro. Uh, we get in there, they start running all these tests. The fucking doctor lady comes in there and she's like, um, miss, um, there's nothing in your system. Oh God, are you sure? I've never felt like this. Um, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the sheet right here. Nothing is wrong with you. Oh my God, I don't know that. Yo, man. Shout out to Church for being a wise person. You feel me? Because he's so wise that it, it, it keeps him out of trouble, you know? And like he says, man, you can't take an L when you're telling the truth, you know? And he does, he does everything so calculated. Like, he's so calculated, man. A lot of people don't understand how intelligent this man really is. So intelligent, man. Shout out to Church from doing that because... Most people would be like, oh, okay, let's just fucking go home. Fuck that, dog. She trying to get you. This could be one of those weird things. Yeah, no, the sheet's right here. You're fine. What it was was her broke ass was trying to make some money real quick, and your boy wasn't going. So then after all that, that was when the whole thing came up where she was like, why won't you have sex with me? I was like, because I don't want to. I'm not attracted to you, bro. Have you fucking seen yourself on YouTube? You look like transgender Lord Farquaad. This <laughs> is Lord Farquaad from Shrek. <laughs> and this is also Lord Farquaad from Shrek. Good boy, <laughs> I love you. I mean, dude, who would want to even see you naked after seeing this oh, picture? Oh, man. No, like, really, what's it, what's about? Did you fall asleep under the fucking power lines or something? She went to the news. She went to, like, a battered woman's shelter. Oh, Dude, man. she told the judge that I had killed people and that they were buried at my house. That I had an underground room where I tortured and killed people. What? She really told the fucking judge this. I swear on my life. Am I mad about it? Fuck no, that shit's hilarious, bro. Imagine walking in court high as shit, and you're looking at this ugly ass Canadian who looks like Marilyn Manson, and they're like, hey, he killed somebody at the roundabout. I seen him kill him and he buried him over under the roundabout. It's a great story to tell your friends around the campfire. Really? Wow. Fucked up. I mean, shit, bro, it don't bother me. My life's great. This bitch left her house at like 18 years old like a Pokemon trainer with some titties her parents bought her. She's been walking around ever since. She's 40, dog. She says she's a comedian. She crashes 
when other comedians make jokes. You're like a YouTube star, right? Or something like that? Ish. I'm just a comedian. And then I just did YouTube stuff because they wanted me to post videos on YouTube. <laughs> this lady really believes her own horse shit, huh? I wonder what's <laughs> going on up there in that little noggin of hers. Probably not shit. Have you really tricked yourself into thinking YouTube gives a fuck about what you're doing? <laughs> you think the CEO of YouTube's like, hmm, we must get Nicole Arbor to make more shitty ass videos. No, dude, they're, they're on an island somewhere. You're not good at YouTube at all. You're not Damn. good at comedy. You're not good at singing. You're not good at lying. You're not even good at acting. You suck at all those things, which is why the only reason you have views on your old shit is because everyone used to make fun of you. Everyone's forgotten about you. That's why your last video has barely 30,000 views. And it's called How to Make an Orgasm. The one after that is called Dick Pick Co. <laughs> you can't just get horny and demand people to have sex with you. Yeah, you at all. Of YouTube? I'm doing good. No, you're not doing good. You're actually not making anything. I just checked. You're making like $30 a month off YouTube. It's like a dollar a day. That's Napoleon Dynamite money. Shit. I make more than that. Shout out to me. I make $100 a month. <laughs> hey, like, I'm not a YouTuber. Woo! I'm, I'm, I'm fucking I'm winning. I've stand-up comic for a very long time. Got in a bad car accident, so I couldn't do stand-up because I couldn't stand up. And then I was like, well, fuck, I can film myself like this. <laughs> Instead of lying about, you didn't get in a car wreck. Okay, you weren't hospitalized for a long time. None of that. At all. Prove it. That never happened. You're making that up because you can't do stand-up comedy. Stand-up comedy actually takes a lot of skill. Sure you have does. to have the phone. You can't stand there and tell jokes. You're not able to. You, you don't have that talent. So you lie about it. And then you say, oh, no, well, see, what happened was I couldn't stand. And then I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just do sit down comedy. Yeah, it, you're lying. You're just not good at stand up comedy. You're not a stand up comedian. You're a chick with fake titties <laughs> who maybe <laughs> once upon a time used to be able to giggle and people think it's cute. Now people just think it's weird because you're just old, crazy, wide eyed fucking person <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> Like a fucking tell you look like a villain in a Batman movie. Did you include one of your jokes on the show just now? I didn't. No. Right. No. Are you okay? Can I? Oh, I'll keep going. Okay. So I just like started filming my shit. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? His face. I'm dead, man. You look like a villain in a Batman movie. Did you include one of your jokes on the show just now? I didn't. No. Right. No. Are you okay? Can I? Oh, I'll keep going. Okay. So I just like started filming my shit. But yep, after all that court that and all was that shit, awkward. she dismissed it. Well, she's trying to dismiss it because she's a liar and she can't back up none of the stuff she said. And she's broke and she's out of money. So now she's trying to run away. But that's not going to happen. You owe me a lot of money. So, uh, you, uh, <laughs> better get good at telling jokes. <laughs> And not just being a joke. <laughs> Everyone on the internet knows you're a joke. Everyone feels sorry for you. Everyone feels bad for you. We feel bad for your parents. We feel bad for anyone related to you. Damn. Uh, you're the laughing stock. And you're a grown ass woman. You're a grown ass I love woman. it. I love the savagery. You're super grown ass parents. You don't have a real job. You don't have, you haven't bought a house. You haven't done anything. With all this fake bullshit you got going on, you've done nothing. You don't even have a driver's license. You're too fucking dumb to go get a driver's license. You don't own a car. You, you don't own nothing. Whoa. You bank on taking good guys like me and Tommy Vex and Matt Santorno and all of us to court. That's what you bank on. And now you're 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 in trouble now, dude. You're broke. 
the internet's not fucking with you no more because everybody's sick of your shit. You ain't gonna be able to get a boyfriend because ain't nobody gonna want to date you because, I mean, fuck, you got four famous dudes in America have already dated you and we all have the same story and we didn't even know each other. Right. You're a fucking joke. Go back to fucking Canada and stop making videos called This is America. <laughs> you're not a fucking American. And you're not a good singer. Your voice sounds like shit. <laughs> like actual shit. <laughs> Yo, man. Church was not holding back. He went in. Wow, man. The, the savagery. The savagery, man. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you guys for commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.